So the reason why, uh, so first of all, Lightspeed Loyalty is a points rewards program. So we offer it to any of the restaurant industries as well as the retail uh, industry because we have two different uh, softwares. So basically the way it works is simply for the amount spent, the customers get points and then against these points they can get rewards. So what happens is that you have QR codes on your phone with a portal on your phone as well without it being an app. So you can at any moment go and check how many points you have and how, uh, how many rewards you can get based on the points that you have. And why we decided to launch it was simply because um, we realized that the integrations that we had for loyalty for our softwares were actually requested a lot. So we thought at some point, okay, we need to expand um, the different products that we offer. So loyalty was one of the next steps because obviously it's a big request, mostly in the quick service uh, industry more than others. That's the experience we have up until now. But hopefully now that we offer this solution, things might change and we might get in touch uh, with more industries in the, um, in the restaurant industry for loyalty. And so we launched it a month or two ago and uh, we did a campaign. So we reached out to our existing customers saying, okay, this is something that we have now. We've had a lot more responses for restaurants than we did for retail. And so far it's been going fairly well. So we've had quite good feedback. We're still perfecting it. So we're still trying to make it better because what we did is we acquired another company that we merged into ourselves, which became Lightspeed Loyalty. And um, taking it from there, we're also introducing it now to our new uh, existing prospects. And it's usually a simple conversation that starts with what you do with your customers. So then we try and assess, okay, when do we introduce loyalty? Because obviously some restaurants are just starting from scratch. So maybe they say loyalty comes a little bit later. Some of them are existing customers that are renewing their systems because they have old legacy software. And then they say, okay, perfect. We want a new cloud iPad based solution. What else do you have that can help us? And then in this case, we introduce our different modules. Loyalty is one of them. So it's always more of a conversation that we have because loyalty is a, um, it's not a necessity, it's an investment regarding, um, comparing to the POS, which is a necessity. So it's always first a conversation of where do you stand? Do you think you have the time to take care of, of this? Do you have the customers to take care of this? Do you think your customer base is receptive to loyalty? Because ultimately it's not, yet perfect for everyone so that's why we try to introduce it slowly so that people have a good experience with loyalty instead of feeling like they have to do it and then they don't fully do it they don't see return on investment and then it creates a frustration uh, with the owner or with the restaurant so we just always try to make sure that people understand okay this is what you get out of it but of course there is a bit of work behind So our loyalty platform is not a hub. So it's not Lightspeed Loyalty where all of the Lightspeed restaurant uh, users are attached to. And me as an end user, I can earn points that I can redeem in all these Lightspeed restaurants. Ours doesn't work like that. It's really individual to that brand, to that restaurant. So ultimately, whenever I go into that specific coffee shop or that specific brand, I earn that many points and then I can redeem them. And these schemes are handled by the owner. Well, the, the most important one would be that, first of all, it's still always the personal experience. So when you have very big brands where you have uh, shops everywhere, then you have this constant where you say, okay, you can earn points and redeem them all over the world, wherever you go. So that's appealing for the big brands. But for the smaller brands where you have only maybe one or two, usually these people that come back are in the neighborhood. So in this case, you would first play on the fact that you're local and also creating that personal relationship of saying, okay, 
emotional loyalty if you want so i value you because we're in the same neighborhood because we know the same places and some things that can be interesting is that through being local and starting this loyalty with customers you can also build links with uh, other businesses near you not, not only other restaurants but you can say okay so if you're loyal here you can make this long term huh? maybe you can redeem points with us but if you buy this uh, you can also get maybe this and then you actually uh, upsell a product from another store and then you can create this sort of um of, of hub around a certain amount of streets and so on so this is for really the small businesses i think that's really key to to start loyalty is to say okay why would you be loyal to me or because you have very outstanding or special products that aren't sold anybody any sorry anywhere else or you have this uh, proximity that is very essential and ultimately as a last point we come back for hotels for the experience because most of the people that go to hotels is because they do maybe a visit in that town but they might never go back to that town so they might never go back but then it's about referring to other friends and other people that you know saying hey if you go there you should go to that hotel so in this case again we're playing on the personal giving that one customer a good experience and then this loyalty actually becomes um, some sort of word of mouth marketing so there is a lot of different dimensions to loyalty to say you would sum it up to points and rewards would be way too small and I think it's a lot more than that. And, and before you start a loyalty scheme or program, it's always very good to understand what customers you have. And it's always very important to understand what type of customers and what will work with them or what won't. Also where you are, what surrounds you before you can make a decision of what's good for your business.